This is going to be a follow-up video. Uh, that has nothing to do with the previous video. I just want to say some stuff. Want to get some ideas on camera. For starters, I've been thinking a lot about human nature. When we're in a higher emotional state, like anger or grief or suffering or things of this nature, as opposed to the typical monotonous, ex not so exciting emotions we of our day to day lives, where we're not so conscious of everything. Uh, when you're in a higher emotional state and you receive information, you learn, you develop. That doesn't transfer down to lower emotional states. That's why psychology, where they break the person down so that he can give up his addictions or abusive behaviors, and then six months later they realize that shit still is happening, and it's happening more than ever. Well, that's because it doesn't work. You need to keep low-level habits solved with low-level solutions. Interventions don't work. Like, if you basically try to get 20 guys to get me emotional so that I can give up my masturbation habit, I'm going to be fapping harder more than ever in the next six weeks because you just created a disconnect. At a higher emotional state, I learned to stop fapping, but when it goes down to a lower emotional state, I just got some... I mean, I just got myself some a bad mood and essentially a pissed off outlook. And that's gonna fuel my masturbation addiction, no doubt. And then I think about mass murders. They're on a high emotional state. They've been doing a lot of terrorism. They've been killing niggas, like ten or fifteen of them. And then when that emotional state dwindles down, they realize whatever possessed them to do that, whatever gave them that fuel, whatever gave them that fire, it's not going to... That wisdom hasn't transferred down to their more rational state. In many ways, rationalism is oftentimes the enemy. And it's sometimes the best friend. But when it, when you hit rock bottom like that, then I'm not surprised that mass murderers shoot themselves in the head because whatever gave them that motivation, it's not going to give them the motivation now that they're cool-headed or more cool-headed. So might as well end that shit, right? And such is the nature of, I guess reaction. I noticed that Charles Manson once said that the government does in a large scale what serial killers do in a small scale. Or better yet, he said uh, serial killers or mass murderers do in a short scale what governments do on a large scale. And the voluntarists really love this statement because it makes statism look so much more devious and criminal and tyrannical and cruel and adjective that's negative and frowny faced but I look at it in a way of reaction I mean a lot of these guys are having issues with the system that's why terrorists and mass murderers and serial killers they go after places where they think corruption lies in the schools, the Jewy fucks uh, banks, the World Trade Center, it's causing so much drama and people become collateral damage. They just become bulk. Of course, the person realizes it when they're heated, but when they're not heated anymore, all of a sudden, they don't seem like bulk to them anymore. It's like, what have I done, really? And... The point that I'm trying to get across is that 
they see corruption or they made the revelation I should do something about this when they they get heated they do something about it and they realize when they're not heated anymore they don't know why they did it in the first place. That information hasn't transferred to that lower emotional state. So, fuck. I mean, I'm like this when I get angry, too. When I get angry, I basically, like, I'm a, I'm a Dal nigga, so I might strike an inanimate object as opposed to a person. But then when I go down to a lower emotional state, of rationality, the motive behind that, the logic hasn't transferred down. So I'm thinking, what the fuck? Now I feel worse than ever. Ugh, man, L look at this nice inanimate object that I ruined. Like that drawer over there. It, it's just, just so much regret. Ben Wolio once said that. Why don't these terrorists ever go after a place like a porn theater or a strip club where things where degeneracy and the Jewiness really does reside strongly and the collateral damage isn't so bad? Well, those places do get harmed a lot. How lounges, bars, and other places, which I'm not saying they're like strip clubs or things of that nature. I'm not going to be extreme and shit like that. Uh, those places get shot up all the time. Very crime infested, very terrible. But it's not out of reaction. It's not someone saying, you know what, I'm mad as hell, I'm done with this bullshit, I'm going to I'm gonna start shooting, I'm going to start wrecking shit. No, it's really guys that are low level and they just want to do what they got to do, do what they want to do because they lack agency. That's usually what it is. I'm starting to realize that small scale reaction isn't good. This is why hierarchy is important. Because without without hierarchy, you'd have a lot of reaction like this. You need a vanguard, you need a lot of stuff like this so that when people do reach that high emotional state, they have someone to hold them down. They have someone to hold them back. They have someone to stop them who also has a similar goal and aspiration as them but is planning ahead in the future. Taking some large scale damage and making some large scale decisions that will make everybody else better off. So this is Mr. Wonka 7 and I want you guys to respect the king I'm going to wait another hour and then get some sleep after that. I'm trying to wait an extra hour so that I know that when the weekend comes, my sleep pattern is going to eventually resolve itself. I want you guys to know that I have a lot of love for each and every one of you. You're my subscribers, you're my fans, you're my niggas. We ride or die. I'll die for you niggas. Like, fuck, man. You guys are my bros. Except for you. <laughs>